Emerald Tablet 13, The Keys of Life and Death. List ye, O man, hear ye the wisdom. Hear ye the word that shall fill thee with life. Hear ye the word that shall banish the darkness. Hear ye the voice that shall banish the night. Mystery and wisdom have I brought to my children, knowledge and power descended from old. Know ye not that all shall be open when ye shall find the oneness of all. One shall ye be with the masters of mystery, conquerors of death and masters of life. I ye shall learn of the flowers of Amenti, the blossoms of life that shine in the hall. In spirit shall ye reach the halls of Amenti, and bring back the wisdom that liveth in light. Know ye the gateway to power is secret, know ye the gateway to life is through death. I through death, but not as ye know death, but a death that is life and is fire and is light. Desireth thou to know the deep hidden secret? Look into thy heart where the knowledge is bound, know that in thee the secret is hidden, the source of all life and the source of all death. List ye, O man, while I tell the secret, reveal unto thee the secret of old. Deep in earth's heart lies the flower, the source of the spirit that binds all in its form. For know ye that the earth is living in body, as thou art alive in thine own formed form. The flower of life is as thine own place of spirit, and streams of the earth as thine flows through thy form giving of life to the earth and its children, renewing the spirit from form unto form. This is the spirit that is form of thy body, shaping and molding it into its form. Know ye, O man, that thy form is dual, balanced in polarity while formed in its form. Know that when fast on thee death approaches, it is only because thy balance is shaken, it is only because one pole has been lost. Know that thy body, when in perfect balance, may never be touched by the finger of death. I, even accident, may own the approach when the balance is gone. When ye are in a balanced equilibrium, ye shall live on in time and not taste of death. Know that thou art the balanced completion, existing because of thy balance of poles. As in thee, one pole is drawn downward, fast from thee goes the balance of life. Then unto thee cold death approaches, and change must come to thine unbalanced life. Know that the secret of life in a menti is the secret of restoring the balance of poles. All that exists has form, and is living because of the spirit of life in its pole. See ye not that an earth's heart is the balance of all things that exist, and have been on its face? The source of thy spirit is drawn from earth's heart, for in thy form thy are one with the earth. When thou hast learned to hold thine own balance, thou shalt thou draw on the balance of earth. Exist then shalt thou with earth as existing, changing in form only when earth too shall change. Tasting not of death, but one with this planet, holding thy form till all passes away. List ye, O man, whilst I give the secret, so that ye too shall taste not of change. One hour each day shall I lie with thy head, pointed to the place of the positive pole, north. One hour each day shall thy head be pointed into the place of the negative pole, south. Whilst thy head is placed to the northward, hold thou thy consciousness from the chest to the head. And when thy head is placed southward, hold thou thy thought from chest to the feet. Hold thou in balance once in each seven, and thy balance will retain the whole of its strength. Aye, if thou be old, thy body will freshen, and thy strength will become as a youth. This is a secret known to the masters, by which they hold off the fingers of death. Neglect not to follow the path I have shown, for when thou hast passed beyond years to a hundred, to neglect it will mean the coming of death. Hear ye my words, and follow the pathway. Keep thou thy balance, and live on in life. Hear ye, O man, and list to my voice, list to the wisdom that gives thee of death. When at the end of thy work appointed, thou may desire to pass from this life, pass to the plain where the sons of the morning live, and have been as children of light. Pass without pain, and pass without sorrow, into the plain where is eternal light. First, lie at rest when thy head to be eastward. Fold thou thy hands at the source of thy life, the solar plex. Place thou thy consciousness in the life seat. 
whirl it and divide to north and to south. Send thou the one out toward the northward, send thou the other out to the south. Relax thou thy hold upon thy being, forth from thy form will thy silver spark fly, upward and onward to the sun of the morning, blending with light at once with its source. There it shall flame till desire shall be created, then shall return to a place in a form. Know ye, O men, that thus pass the great souls, changing at will from life unto life. Thus ever passes the avatar, willing his death as he wills his own life. List ye, O man, drink of my wisdom, learn ye the secret that is master of time. Learn ye how those ye call masters are able to remember the lives of the past. Great is the secret, yet easy to master, giving to thee the mastery of time. When upon thee death fast approaches, fear not, but know ye are master of death. Relax the body, resist not with tension. Place in thy heart the flame of thy soul, swiftly then sweep it to the seat of the triangle, hold for a moment, then move to the goal. This thy goal is a place between thine eyebrows, the place where the memory of life must hold sway. Hold thou thy flame there in thy brain seat until the fingers of death grasp thy soul. Then as thou pass through the state of transition, surely the memories of life shall pass too. Then shalt the past be as one with the present, then shall the memory of all be retained. Free shalt thou be from all retrogression, the things of the past shall live in today. Man, ye have heard the voice of my wisdom, follow and ye shall live through the ages as I. End of Tablet 13